I'm Steve Braddock. I'm the Artistic Director of Niagara University Theatre. We're doing a radio play version of It's a Wonderful Life. It's a Wonderful Life is important to our community in so many ways. It's, just, it's the time-honored traditional Christmas story that tells us so much about not neglecting our place in the world, that if we take ourselves for granted, then we're doing a disservice to those around us, that we have an effect on people. In a radio play, voice has to carry all of the intention, everything that the actors need the audience to know about who they are, what they want, and what they're willing to do to get it. On stage, we have uh, visual stimuli to help us with that. We have the physicality and proximity of the actors that help support the voices, but here it's all voice. It's been a joyful experience on, on just about every level. It starts out with conversations, and that started months ago, and then um, finding out if there was a level of interest among our students and then auditioning them for the roles. And students and staff, we have, we have a couple of folks who work with us um, who are former students who are also part of the cast. And then making sure they had the script in hand, had some resources, um, the ability to watch the film, and then three days of rehearsal. They had license to play with voices, to, to, to make adjustments, things that they typically wouldn't get away with on stage because they're not naturalistic. And I think with many of them who are quite adept at it, you know, there's the possibility down the road for voice work, you know, animation, those types of things. All right, buddy, you're not getting away again. Hey, let go of my... I love our students and, and working with them on a day-to-day -day basis is fantastic. But for these folks who, who bought in or taking some time off from their Christmas holiday to do this. This is an opportunity our students don't usually get to have. We do staged plays, we do all sorts of physical comedy, and we do Shakespeare and things for a live audience with all of the trappings, but we don't have the resources to do radio drama. For, for us as an institution, for Niagara University Theater, it gives us a wider audience and it gives our students the opportunity to see folks working in an aspect of the industry they might not have already thought about for themselves. And the folks here at, at WBFO and WNED have been just phenomenal to us and, and it's been a, a pleasure to get to know them and to work with them. It, it's, it's just a joyful, it's the process, a joyful process.